Armstrong. Neil Armstrong took the, um, the, the, the spaceship out of, uh, took the la lander um, out of um, automatic autopilot and landed it manually. They managed to avoid those rocks. Had they hit them, they would never have come back. Um, it was an astonishing achievement uh, given the, the technology available um, at the time. Um, so now we're in a kind of a, a state of disarray in many ways. Um, a couple of months ago, we had the space shuttle fly right over USC. USC actually was the, the uh, uh, Neil Armstrong was a graduate of USC. Um, uh, so it has a very strong astronaut, astronautical department. Uh, but the space shuttle flew over to land at LAX and is now parked in a, um, in an exhibition space right next to the university. But the point is that there is no way at the moment for um, American astronauts to get to the space station apart from hitching a lift on an American, um, uh, an American or on a Russian rocket. Um, and Bush was, was keen to go to, to Mars, therefore Obama couldn't be seen to go to the same place that he was talking about going to an asteroid. They're now beginning to sort of talk about Mars again, but it's really not quite clear what's going to happen, whether indeed there's going to be funding to make this available. These are, what are the options then out there in terms of where we could go? I think we all know, we can all know, see Moon and Mars, but one of the, the curious sort of um, uh, locations on this, on this chart actually, uh, L1, L2, L3, L4 and so on, these actually are also of interest. These are, are points in space where you are held in equilibrium between the gravitational force of two, of two bodies. So L1 is somewhere between the Earth and Moon, presumably much closer to the Moon because the gravitation force of the Moon is one sixth that on Earth. But there are possibilities then of, 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 of situating um, uh, some um, station of something, some kind, in these particular um, positions.